because I got to keep talking about everything. This will be a little one about the Washington Wizards. So the Washington Wizards, we can just all go ahead and agree that that sucked. That was awful. I mean, they didn't suck. I mean, they kind of did. Like, they were killing them at halftime with, like, when we went to halftime with the Switches. First off, I want to say the Wizards will beat the Pacers and the Wizards will play the Sixers in the eighth seed. That's my prediction right there, right now. Let me hear your predictions right now down below in the comment section. And Bradley Beal only had 22 points. He wasn't able. He really shot inefficiently. Then you had our man Russell Westbrook had 14 rebounds, 20 points, and you know he only dished out five assists. You know Bradley Beal actually led the team in assists. And I swear, our man Scott Brooks went deep into the bench. I swear at one point he was like, okay, Davis Burton, Daniel Gafford, Ish Smith, and Robin Lopez isn't working. Let's go down and get Garrison Matthews, Anthony Gill, Cashew Winston, and Chandler Hutchinson out there. I was really thinking that he was going to throw Isaac Bonga out there. And it just nothing was falling for them. And what the Celtics did was shut down Russell Westbrook and Bradley Beal and tell the Wizards, hey, try to score with somebody else. Do it. Try to score with somebody else. Try it. I want to see y'all try to score with somebody else. And they couldn't. They weren't able to score with somebody else. And that really sucked. It really sucked to see that they couldn't score with somebody else. And what are we going to do? You know what I mean? Like sit here and mope about that they weren't able to do what we thought they were going to be able to do. No, it would be a waste of energy. You know, No one's going to sit here and listen to us complain because nobody cares. And I think they can beat the Pacers. It's going to be a little bit scary after seeing what the Pacers did, shutting down and making the Hornets look absolutely useless. But I think if anybody's going to be able to do it and turn around their fortunes, I think it's going to be the Washington Wizards. And they're, they've shown they're probably the best team at rebounding uh, you know, losses and things that people normally wouldn't be able to rebound from. So, you know, I think it was an amazing game at first. And then it, the fourth quarter just, the fourth quarter slipped away. The fourth quarter really slipped away. And I felt really, eh, really, really bad about it. But yeah, it was just, I thought, I thought they just went downhill. They just lost morale. And I don't know. I Like, if I could go back and say, like, what I really thought about it was that the Wizards weren't able to get the pick and roll going in the second half. None of the shots were falling. Bradley Beal was forced to do too much. Same thing with Russell Westbrook. Bertons wasn't falling. He shot seven three-pointers. They didn't fall. Then you had Daniel Gafford and Alex Lynn and Robin Lopez who only combined for 22 points when they normally combine for like 30 points at least. So you have that and that all just sucked. You know, we thought it was going to be a better game and it wasn't. It really wasn't. It was just it just kind of it kind of sucked that they weren't able to do that. So you sit there and you were hoping for you know like for a better better results and it didn't it didn't happen. So that's what sucked. If I have to say back, like say what I thought was awful, and yeah, like I was really hoping for a different outcome, but that's not what happened. So we got stuck with this, and we're gonna have to go, and hopefully we can we can have a better game. You know, like we let Jason Tatum drop fifty on us. You know, fifty points on our head, fifty points on our freaking heads. So, I thought that was uh, pretty crazy. I think if we're going to go against this, we got to use the guys to shut down DeMontis Sabonis. Like, that's that's a must. There's no questions about, like, if we're going to be able to do it, how we're going to be able to do it. No, like, we have to be able to shut down Sabonis. We have to shut down Brogdon. So, like, really, to be successful, this is going to be a bunch of shit that we're going to have to do. So... I think it's going to be definitely an interesting year. Not a year, an interesting game. Just seeing like the switches and that they weren't able to switch. They, we honestly looked like ass. It was, just, And they just took away the scoring from us. That's, they really, it was, it was crazy. 
if I have to say, I'm like, I'm still baffled that like the game went to such shit in the second half because the first half was actual competent basketball. Like it wasn't like they were like, like holding their dicks in their hand like they were in the second half. No, like this was competent basketball. And then they were holding their dicks in their hands. So that's what happened. So that sucked. If I had to be honest, like I was not expecting them to just Scott. I mean, this is why Scott Brooks should be fired. And Scott Brooks isn't a good coach. He doesn't know how to adjust on the fly. Okay. The Boston Celtics came in and like, you know, like came in and was like, wasn't able to adjust to what they were doing against them. So um, that's just, that's just me ranting as like, I'm actually a Celtics fan and someone who was a fan. I lived in Baltimore. So yeah, yep. That's it for me, you guys. Peace out.